talk about pyramids. Um, pyramids, they will have a, a base that is a polygon. So in this case, I'll just make a square. And then they will, um, all the, from the edges, they'll all come up to a single point. And this would be like a square pyramid. And I'm going to put some dotted lines in here to give it a little better depth. And I'm going to tell you this is 8 by 8, and the height from that straight down to the base is 5. And how about I make that one a different color? That distance is 5. So how am I going to find the volume of a pyramid? Well, here's what's nice. In the exact same way that uh, cones fit inside of cylinders, pyramids fit inside of uh, prisms. So if I just make a prism, and again, let me make these dotted just to give it a little depth. My pyramid will fit right inside it. Notice my base is that square, that eight by eight square. And then if I draw those lines coming down, there's my, uh, there's my pyramid and the exact same way that cones are related to cylinders, pyramids take up a third of the space, a third of the volume that the prisms do. So area of the base times the height, that gives me volume of the, of the whole um, prism, but it's only a third of it. It doesn't fill it up all the way. So I just go a third of that. So if I wanted to find the volume of this pyramid right here, it would be one third times eight squared, eight times eight times five. So how are we going to find the surface area of this? So let me draw another pyramid here. And I'll just keep those same dimensions, eight by eight, and then I have a height of five. So uh, what I'm going to need to know, I, what I want to undo is what I want to do is unfold it uh, just like I've done in all the other ones. So I want to, you know, kind of make like cuts along here, maybe cut it along here and here and fold it out. And notice what I get would be these, these triangles off of each side. And then that square, right? This is the base right here, this part. And then these are folded out to give me these. And so I know the base of these are eight, but I don't know anything about what I really want to know is the height of that triangle. So let's think about what that would be. Um, that would be like this edge right here. So look what I have here. I have this distance, which is a five. I want to know this distance. And I know that distance right there because it's halfway across. That's a four. So what I have is this right triangle. Five, this is four, half of the eight in the height. And that length right there, that dotted length that I'm trying to look for out here is just that hypotenuse. So I can get that with Pythagorean theorem. So um, let's call it C. C squared is uh, A squared plus B squared. So C squared would be 25 plus 9, which is 34. So if I square root, and that's the square root of 34. And I could figure out what that is a decimal in my calculator. But what's great, now I can find all of my surface area pieces. Ah. because I just add up all the pieces. So notice that right here I have an eight by eight, so that's 64. Um, and then I have four of these triangles. So I have 64 plus four of whatever those triangles are. Area of a triangle, my base is eight, and my height is 34 is one half base times height. And then I could plug that into my calculator and that would give me my surface area 